If you want to enhance plant growth significantly, introducing CO2 into your cultivation space is a highly efficient method for enhancing photosynthesis and speeding up growth. Here is a brief guide on how to do it based on more than 10 years of experience. Why CO2 is crucial plants needing CARBON dioxide for photosynthesis. Without CO2, plants can't use light efficiently for growth. Indoor space is often lacking enough CO2 which restricts development of plant. Increasing amount of CO2 will increase your plant growth rate. Method 1. CO2. Tanks and reg. Most accurate approach involve utilize CO2 tank coupled with regulator. This enable precise control of CO2. Emission level typically target 1,200 to 1,500 parts per million for ideal growth condition. While it is dependable and effective technique, it represent one of the pricier choice due to expense relate to tanks refill and equipment. Method 2. DIY C. O2. Yeast and S. Biodiesel. CO2 methods. It is easy to produce CO2 yourself using a cheap yeast with sugar mixture if you are tight on budget. Therefore, a carbon dioxide yeast sugar mixture is able to be formed. Yeast can be put into a grow tent or hanging down as fermentation begins and happens slowly. A con to it is that this method is cheap, but it is rather inconvenient and difficult since the yeast carbon mixtures need to be continually supplied. Method 3. CO2. Generato. If your setup is larger and more complex, CO2 generators are a good option. They burn either propane or natural gas for the production of CO2, and usually built-in sensors that automatically control and maintain CO2 levels within the setup. This would, however, be more costly as well as require proper ventilation, but would provide a consistent flow of CO2. Method 4. Dry Ice Dry ice is a method of raising CO2, which is produced as a gas by way of sublimation. While it's useful on a temporary basis for increasing CO2 during vital growth conditions, this is not something you are likely to use over the long term. But be careful, dry ice can be dangerous if not treated with care. Ventilation is key. As CO2 is heavier than oxygen, it follows that a proper ventilation strategy is vital to make sure that CO2 is evenly dispersed across the tent. Install fans to increase the airflow and implement an exhaust system to reduce CO2 levels and control humidity. Timing CO2 Release There is no need to keep on pumping plants with CO2 all the time, for instance, every day. During the daytime and when light is on, plants require CO2, but during the night the plants breathe oxygen instead. Automatic blowers and where many CO2 systems have timers or controllers built in to do this automatically. Conclusions Conclusively, the perfect amount of CO2 will result in significant growth of your plants. However, it is always about balance. Use the tendency of plants to respond to changes and the idea of much and little, and experiment for both ventilation as well as supplementation of CO2. Once you get used to CO2 supplementation, there would be no turning back for you, and your plants will grow bigger, faster, and healthier every single time. That's your guide to adding CO2 to your grow tent. Congratulations! and keep experimenting, consistent, and growing.